Anyway, that's all the gems done now. Hello, am I speaking to Champion Jeremy? This is Gita. How is your inspection of the gyms going? How did you get my number? I'm all, I'm done with them all. You've done a wonderful job, thank you. I was informed by each of the gym leaders that you stopped by to see them. I knew giving this you this task was the right decision, Champion Jeremy. All of them seem quite happy for the opportunity to battle you. Now I'd like the <coughs> I'd like the inspection report from you in person. Join me at the academy at the entrance hall. I'll be waiting for you there. Okay then. Well, I guess we're up to the... the thing then. <laughs> the main event. Still have to find so many stakes still, that's fine. And actually fig work on Pokemon some more. Pokedex and my main Pokemon, so. Fight some more terror raid battles and just get stronger. I'm not sure if I should have healed first, but that's fine. Probably. Nope, don't do that. It's fine, I know what I'm doing. Oh, there you are. Right there, apparently. Good day, Champion Jeremy. Now tell me, what do you think of our entrance hall? Do you enjoy being surrounded by books? I, I, I think it's pretty cool. That's good to hear. It was renovated a few years ago, and I was the one who came up with the new design. But more importantly, I'd, li I'd very much like to hear your report on the gym leaders. Ah, now that I think about it, this location is perhaps a little too... public. Do you know of anywhere quiet we could might be able to discuss things a bit more discreetly? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Guess here's good. So this is the dorm room where you live. Well, I mean, I've been here like once or twice. <laughs> I wonder, is this room what helped you help nurture your potential as a champion? I don't think so. I, 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 I don't know how to answer this. Why are you asking me? I, no. Ah, wait, I remember now. You only recently moved into the dormitories. In the near future, perhaps, I'll pay your family's home a visit, if I may. Anyway, let us get to the topic at hand. I'd very much like to hear your report now that you've in inspected the gym leaders. Tell me, which gym leader did you feel of was the easiest to face in battle? Uh, possibly, possibly Brassius, really. Brassius, fascinating. Next, which gym leader left the strongest impression on you? On you? Um... I feel like Rhyme, to be honest. Of course you'd say Rhyme. Then, which gym leader gave you the most troubling battle? Trouble during battle. I'm trying to think. Who was really doing good damage to me? I can't... I, I, I really can't remember. Do I think it was Larry? Do I think it was Grusha? Might have been Tulip? Tulip, I would have to agree. Next is the last, most important question. Which gym leader did you like the most? Now, this is a tough question. So I think I... My answer the right one, right? Yeah. Let me think. Which one did I like the most? I feel like I... Don't know. <laughs> Ryan, possibly. Of course you'd say Ryan. Those are all the questions I have. Thank you very much for your help on this. Your perspective was fascinating, Champion Jeremy. 
I have no doubt it will assist me when running the organization. Please accept this as thanks. I got King's Rock. An item to be held by a Pokemon. It may cause the target to flinch whenever the holder successfully inflicts damage on them with an attack. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Thanks to you, my schedule has cleared up quite significantly. So I would most definitely be joining the tournament we discussed in the director's office. I'm sure Champion Noona will be pleased too. Well, thanks for letting me visit. I should get back to work now. You must be tired. I suggest you take it easy for the rest of the day. Hang on, I have to, I have to look at this King's Rock. Who do I want to give that to? If I had Karite on my team... Oh boy. Things could get crazy. What I probably want to do though... Is put away the health item on Golden Go for the moment. I'm gonna go to my bag so I can look at this better. Hang on, I missed it. It's, it's right up here. Uh, let's give this to Golden Go. And let's give the amulet coin to just somebody, just to have it. Uh, I don't think I need the Sooth Bell. Let me think. What can I. What can I use? Interesting. Um, lowered by. Uh, hang on. Pricks the holder from having its stats lowered. Interesting. It's very tempting. Punching glove. Punching moves and direct contact with targets. I think that might be good for Mini Cham, possibly. I mean, I might as well give it something. I don't even need to give it them stuff because I, I, like, I have the amulet coin <laughs> given to one of them. I don't even need that, so I think I should be pretty good there. Just checking. Here. Just checking. It's always good to check stuff. So what am I doing? Am I sleeping? Am I resting? I don't know. I don't know what the story wants me to do now. One week later, thanks to Nimona's pushing and a bit of cooperation from the League Pokemon League, the day finally arrived for the great Pokemon Battle Competition to be held. Hey Jeremy! I'm so glad we just managed to get everything ready for the Academy Ace Tournament. Oh yeah. That's what we decided to officially name the tournament. It's a good name, right? Fitting. Memorable. But then Arvin went and said, We should... Uh, 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 we should call it... The School Battle Brawl. And then even Director Clevel got into calling it that. So now I'm just gonna... I'm just like... Ugh. Anyway, how are you feeling, Jeremy? In the mindset to do some winning? Yes. Yes. There's the enthusiasm. Let, show us what a champion is made of. It's so cool that Lepruma is going to make a guest appearance, thanks to your hard work. I wish I didn't have my hands full with the behind-the-scenes admin stuff. I won't even get to do any battling myself. But I'll seize the chance to do some objective research into what makes you so good. Anyway, let's get going. I'll meet you at the front desk in the entrance hall. No stalling. Well, okay then. I should probably also set Golden Go into the lead for now. Well, let's see how we go. This is gonna this is slightly concerning. But I think we'll be fine. Whoa, Nimona's hair is floating or something, I think. I'm gonna save quickly. Just make sure everything's alright. There you are, Jeremy. You've got to go through the application process with a staffer before you can actually participate in the tournament. Ready for that explanation now, mister? Alright, the rules of the Academy Ace Tournament are as follows. Any student or faculty member of the Academy may enter. Your opponents will be random and only winners will advance to the next round. Opponents will be matched by a lottery 
and the lottery is run by the people in charge. That means you'll have no idea who, who you'll be facing until you meet them out on the battle court. Winners, as I said, will get to advance the next round, but lose once, and you're knocked out. No more battles for you after that. The last train is standing. Uh, the only person to win all their matches will be deemed the best of all the Academy's aces. Thanks very much. We hashed out the tournament rules with help from Director Clavel. Based on the number of entrants so far, you'd probably have to win four times to take it all. Don't forget to, you might want to uh, go up against the faculty too. They're tough stuff. So good luck and go be even tougher. The only person allowed to beat you is me. Please talk to me when you're ready to take part. Hello there, would you like to enter the Ace Academy Ace Tournament? Yes I would. Master Jeremy, a champion ranked trainer, right? Yep. Okay, you're all registered as a contestant. Please head down to the battle court. Well, that was easy. I can't believe I almost failed the question. Should have studied for the test. Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Some of you will certainly have heard the happy news. We have a new champion here at Naranja Academy. Yes, none other than our very own Master Jeremy. For real? That's amazing! <laughs> Burn he hecho, muchacho. Woo! Way to go, champ! At least he's not calling me buddy. I, I let him call me buddy once, and that's that's as much as he's gonna get. Gives me great joy to see one of our students achieve this feat during their time at the academy. Today's tournament was organized by your student council president, Ms. Namona, in celebration of her friend's accomplishment. I invite you, uh, invite all of you here to see for yourselves the impressive strength of our new champion. Not to mention the talents of those students claiming the spotlight for the, uh, the first time today. And of course, the superb battle prowess and uh, acumen I don't, I don't know, of our esteemed faculty. I've not seen so many of these words. Why are there so many new words in this game? Now, without further ado, let the A Academy Ace Tournament uh, School Battle Brawl begin. Alright, let's jump right into the first round, everyone. Who will the fates pair up with pair up today? Champion Jeremy will be facing Arvin from Class 2G. This went well last time. You've got to be kidding me. Up against my little champion buddy right from the first round. What do, what do I say about calling me buddy? So how about it, Jeremy? Bet you're surprised to see me in the, this tournament, right? Ah, uh, not really. Wait, you actually thought I'd sign up for this thing? Boy, I guess you really don't get- <laughs> you, really, you really do get me. No wonder we're best buds. See, when we went down into Area Zero, it really drove ho home for me how I need to get stronger. So I've been off doing some special super serious training with, with my boss Tiff and my team. If we ever end up in trouble again, I want to be there fighting beside you on the same level. Today I'm here to win, even if it might uh, only be a s by a stroke of luck. Get a taste of this. Arvin's here with some spicy new flavor for you. I want you and me to be on the same level, so I'm going after this win without holding back. This is such a good song. It's a bit quiet though, sadly. I can't really adjust that, I don't think. Maybe I can. Earthquake is super effective, that's not great. That's okay, I might be able to get them to flinch possibly, which is my current goal. 
should have given the thing to a different Pokemon. But it's fine. It's the first Pokemon down at least. What's next? Let me see if I can actually know what I'm doing. Scavillain, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna take my time to look up. Oh, I see. I would not have guessed that. This is why I'm take no, why I would do that. I mean, it kind of works, but kind of doesn't. I mean, it's fine. I don't know what I would have picked otherwise, other than something else than this. I should have gone with Dragonite. Honestly. But at least I can take this opportunity to increase my special attack. Crunch. Super effective because it's a, I'm a ghost type. It's fine. Even with actually making sure I knew what it was, I still died. Still did it wrong, that is. Ah, uh, Gargan Knuckle? Garganacle? Okay, that's the rock thing. So I'm gonna switch Pokemon again. I think this should be good. Probably. Unless fighting is possibly better. Probably would be. Go Medicham. High jump kick. Nice. One shot. I mean, we have like four battles to go through, so we. we I probably want to do my best. Toad's Cruel. Now we can switch back to Skeledurge. I remembered one of the Pokemon. It's not saying much. Torch Song. It's a shame that this special attack might not last much. What was that madness? I don't even know. I don't think I'm going to have an opportunity to heal between fights, possibly. Maybe I will, I don't know. Cloyster. Ah, uh, Dragonite. Dragonite can handle most things. I feel like this is an alright bet. Especially because it has electric moves as well. Or an electric type move. So let's go with that. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Mobostiff? I can't remember what Mobostiff is. Let me just check. It's dark type, right? I should have remembered that. What's effective against dark type? Because I don't remember that either. Just gonna be careful accidentally clicking stuff. Uh, against dark types. Uh, bug, fairy, and fighting. So let's take out a fighting. Let's go fighting. We, I think we just reached level 80, which is crazy to me. Though I've managed to get that far. I'm putting everything I've got into this. No regrets allowed. No leftovers after this meal. And this is when you need, like, the, the, the anime Pokedex, like, just pull it up and scan the Pokemon so you know what type you need to switch to. Let's light up this school. Battle Brawl. Mabostiff. Brighter than everybody. Than anybody. Ah, uh, this might be alright. I probably want to hold on to my crystallization for as long as I can, so. Also, this is epic. Yeah. 
so epic. My jump kick. What did the attack? Oh! Kept going and crashed. Play rough. Oh boy. Um. So, uh, bug, fairy, and fighting. I don't have. I don't have. I should have done something else, possibly. Now, what do I want to do? I can't do a ghost type. I could try a ground type and try and get um, the 30% chance of instant kill. Fissure. I mean, I could probably just be strong enough, but yeah, that works too. That's a rude way to take out his Mobostiff, wow. You're so strong and cool. I'm real proud to call you my best friend, you know? And the winner of the first round battle is... Champion Jeremy. Woo, alright! That professor's kid put up... a uh, heck of a fight. What a spicy start. And that's only the first match. Phew, whoa. the strength of a champion is legit. It hurts to lose, but I'm proud of you, little buddy. What have I said about calling me little buddy? It's fine. Maybe I should think about going about... around to all those gyms myself sometime. You better try just as hard as I would have in round two for me. Next up is the second round. I'm sure you're uh, you're ready to hear the matchup, so let's get to it. Champion Jeremy will be facing Jack, the biology teacher. I'm a little bit sad we don't get to see any of the other fights I'm, that I'm assuming are happening. Happening. Hello, hello, Jeremy. I hear you went out on your treasure hunt and wound up becoming a champion. That's quite the achievement. I guess I'm the homeroom teacher for two champion rank students now. I won't lie, I'm feeling a wee bit of pressure here. I've got to work hard so my students don't outshine me too much, huh? Well then, let's get started, shall we? Here's hoping I do okay. No time to heal. Arcanine. Golden Go. This is not a great matchup to start off. Show me what you've got. And in your own way and at your own pace. Oh, that Intimidate is real. Hey, I'm fully healed. How about that then? That's great. If I can move faster than it, that would also be good. Uh, my attack is down, fortunately. Wish I could actually check my stats compared to their stats, but you know what I mean. It's fine. Probably. Please go first, please go first. Yes, thank you. It's not enough to take it out, but it is super effective. And it flinched and couldn't move. And we are faster than it, so let's go again. Mudsdale? I mean, I think I know what Pokemon that is, so let's switch over to... Whiskash. And hope that I'm not going to mess this up. I don't know what type Mudsdale is, by memory. But at the very least, it's ground type, so... Muddy Water. Almost. Accuracy fell, though, that's good. Stamina made its defense ro rise. Must I use Earthquake? I feel like that shouldn't affect my Pokemon because it's hovering, but I guess not. Guess it's not actually got Levitate as its ability, but, you know. Must I have fainted? Lorantis? I feel like I switch to Select Skullderge if it's the Pokemon that I'm thinking of. I mean, it's, it sounds like a bug-type Pokemon. So I'm pretty, pretty safe. Pretty safe bet. Torch Song. I'm 
I send out Slowbro. And I should definitely change my Pokemon. Let's go Dragonite. Seems like a little bit rude to change my Pokemon like this with the type advantage, but still. If I can, then I might, probably should, so. I must do it. Thunder. Avoid the attack. Light screen. Interesting. Very interesting. Thunder. Avoid the attack again. Psychic. Thunder. Avoid the attack again. Psychic again. Please. Wait, go, please. Hit him. There's two more Pokemon after this. Eventually. We're just stuck in a loop now. That's not great. Especially because I'm losing a large chunk of my health. Oh my goodness, please. I might need to change to a different move. Just to make sure I'm hitting at some point in history. And my special defense is falling. Last screen wore off. I have no regular potions anymore. <laughs> Just have hyper potions and super potions. Psychic. Oh, it does so much damage. Ah, uh, let me try an alternative. I feel like this is a good choice. Let's go Golden Go. Psychic. It's not very effective. Shadow Ball. One shot. Next up is Swallot. I can't remember what type Swallot is. Gotta stick with this for the moment. I should be okay. Go Shadow Ball. They're all effective, so... Might as well. Fire Punch. That's super effective. Definitely. Let's see if I can take it out. Protect. Interesting, it's gonna protect itself, so nothing's gonna happen. Interesting move. You kinda waste my power point, though, so... It does have some value. It's an interesting thing, I should probably think about, like, I should consider putting Protect on my team somewhere. Ah, uh, Furry Giraffe. Uh, I, th I think I should probably switch for this. Just something else. I don't know what, though. Let's put in Toxtricity, because I've never used <laughs> I've never used it, basically, so... See if we can hold on. Wow, you sure are strong. Is there some secret in the way you ra raise your Pokemon? Uh, I don't think so. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Let me just overdrive. Just a little energy and there you have it. Now, watch as my Pokemon terrestrializes. What type are you terrestrializing into? Like Dark or Psychic? Or something? Yeah, Psychic. My, my, my thing might, might not, might, my, 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 my electricity might not be as effective as I thought it would be. Let's try something a little different. I wonder what effect this will have on the battle. What are you doing? Psychic? He's just doing an attack. Why are we... It's a, oh! Super effective! Should have fought this... Fought, fought, fought this through. Uh, let me... Do this. I can't remember what's effective against Psychic. Even though I've looked it up multiple times before. I feel like I should remember at this point. It's like... Um... 
Ghost, Fairy, and Bug? Ghost, Dark, and... Bug, right. Oh, I'm getting there, so... Might be able to counter, though. Although, I think it's probably possibly super effective against me, so I should have thought this through. No, we're good. Counter. But it failed. Well, that's just not, this is not going to work, so... I'm just going to do what I can, and it somehow still worked, so... Cool, critical hit. Works for me. Wow, you did great. Thank you for your money. And the winner of the second round battle is Champion Jeremy. Hey, you beat me. You're quite the strong trainer, aren't you, Jeremy? You're more uh, fit for the training or teaching profession than I am, with that boundless confidence of yours. Mr. Jack, did I hear you, you correctly just now? Uh-oh. Uh, hi, Director Club... Director, are you, uh, angry with me? Hehe. <laughs> well, I'm going to get yelled at. Good luck in that... in the coming battles. <laughs>